Hi guys, this is the sixth and the final video for the Google Golang scraper series. And here what we'll do is we'll uh, copy and paste our user agents and our Google domains, and then we'll try running our code. And we'll sit and fix all our errors, which uh, I'm sure there would be many of. So first, let me copy and paste all the Google domains. And uh, so you don't have to worry, you will find all these domains in the GitHub code. I will post the link to the GitHub code uh, in the description box. So I've pasted my Google domain links and now I'll paste my user agents list. I've pasted my user agents list as well. And now it's time to go ahead and try and running this code. So I'll see you in the terminal. So back in our terminal, we'll try to build the file. We'll say, go build. And as we can see, we can see a lot of errors. We can, on 242 line, 243, 272, 274, 279. So let's start with the 242 uh, line first. So if we go with 242, it says, I++, there's some issue with I++, that means should have been a semicolon here, right? So that works. And this is the build Google URL function, right? So here we're returning to scrape, but we're not, uh, we're not using the scrape URL to create to scrape, right? So we'll have to do that. We'll have to say append and to scrape comma scrape URL. There will be the comma and URL is capital. So all of this makes sense now. Now we, let's try and go back to our terminal and see. So 242, yes, this is sorted. 242 line is sorted. And 243 also I think is uh, you know, more or less sorted. Both of these. I think so. I mean, and then 272 right so it's saying on 272 there's an error so let's head over to 272 and yes so we can see the error here on line number 275 which should have been is equal to and now everything should work so uh, let's uh, run this again and see if there are any new errors that that come up so it says unexpected link at the end of statement 273 and 280 also there's some issue so let's go to the uh, 273 line number 273. And th so this is the uh, Google result parsing function, right? So we'll have to uh, try and find this issue. 273. Okay, yes, I found one issue. There seems to be a double bracket here. So now that also looks okay. So let's try running this again and see what happens. So 280, there's some issue still there. Unexpected comma or bracket, line number 280. Yes, so here you need to have a comma as well. Okay according to Golang and so now that we have uh, you know fixed all these errors uh, Golang has gone ahead and found some new errors for us and it's saying it's found these uh, few things to be undefined so we'll have to go and take a look at uh, you know all these so in the terminal it said 302 so I'm on line 302 and it said ERR is not defined so yes this should have been error my mistake and it said on 329 uh, and a couple of lines after that, request is not uh, not um, defined, right? So request on 329, 330 and 332 is undefined. So that's correct because we should have used the assignment operator. And now I have a feeling that a lot of our errors should have gone. So let me try switching back to my terminal. And let's try running the build command again so it runs it builds perfectly now let's run the program itself and see what happens 
and by the way uh, errors will always come in the sense no matter how advanced you are as a programmer you'll always have errors so you should be always open minded and always uh, you know cool with seeing a lot of errors so it's showing me 30 results right it's showing me a, a complete 30 results and why let me sh uh, take you back to my code editor uh i'm trying to go back to my code editor just a second yeah so here you can see that uh, we had said that uh, you we want to search for akhil sharma and we want to search only the first page and 30 results the first 30 results should be shown to us and that's what happened so when you search for akhil sharma on uh, google these are the 30 links that will come up and we have scraped successfully scraped all the 30 links right and on the page first page similarly you can go to the uh, you can scrape 10 pages and you can search you know uh, hundreds of results because we have built a very extensible kind of a scraper right we can easily extend it and now i'm sc uh, scraping english results you can also be scraping any other language results like like russian spanish italian anything that you want to and uh, you can also you could be running it on any uh, website so right now we're running it on google.com but you could be running it on .jp .fr .ru anything right so it's a very extensible and very uh, robust scraper that we have built and uh, i won't say it's production grade but it's almost production grade in terms of the the way we have handled the uh, user agents and the google domains right and we even left space for a proxy agent so that's uh, i in my opinion that's quite uh, you know as in we've thought about the future so which makes it a good program and i hope you learned a lot while building this with me um, and i hope you were able to use a lot of your concepts that you've learned in golang like structs and functions and interfaces all of that here uh, pointers as well and uh, do subscribe to this channel so that you come to know whenever more content like this comes up on the channel and thanks a lot for watching